You were the head of a GLC. You were politically appointed there. Before you got there, you were but a humble, hard worker. A family man and owner of a startup. You were an expert, well liked and respected by the Rakya in your area. You gave back as much as you could and then you realized that you should get into politics to help even more people. You chose a flag, advocated, pushing your and your party's agenda. The Rakya liked you. Your fellow party members were glad to have you. And all that hard work paid off when your coalition win the election and made a majority of the parliament. One day, one of your party members said, Hey, this GLC needs a bit of help. And the Prime Minister replies, I know just the person I would like to appoint. You. The ministers in the boardroom approved of you. The Rakyat who knew about you endorsed you. And those who didn't know learned and favoured you. And with a little bit of GLC money, you give back to the Rakyat and the political party that helped you get there. The Prime Minister suggested you buy some land from a company. You gleefully smiled and approved the transaction. Then another transaction to the company of your political allies. Then a transaction for overseas investment. Then a transaction then to buy your transaction to the company of your political allies. Well, maybe it's not exactly like that, but you get the gist. These kind of things happen often, but it shouldn't be this way. From my own research, I can see that the reason politicians want to be put on boards of GLCs is because they get uh, very, very handsomely rewarded. And sometimes these profits of being a politician is sort of a reward for, for being in that position. And sometimes it even helps them, if they are thinking on behalf of their constituents, it helps them to you know, oil the, the wheels of the political party machinery that eventually they believe to be justifiably used for the Raya, if they so choose to do that. Leaders of GLCs, politicians or professional, should be appointed based on merit and qualification. Particular measures should be implemented to prevent political interference on the board of GLCs and politicians should never be appointed as chairs. Because chairs lead the board and set the direction of the company, a politician might have conflicting interests for its party. Only then can there be proper check and balance. 